welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Maryland. This is Saturday at World Cup Finals, import versus domestic, and the stands are packed, the cars are in the lanes. We are getting ready here to kick off with all motor. Now, a couple classes did not get the third qualifier yesterday. They're gonna get the third qualifier today. They're gonna move into the fourth qualifier, and if we have time, fifth qualifier. But if we don't have time, there's too many oil downs, too many breakages, the weather gets bad. We're not gonna get a fifth qualifier. But we're gonna try to do what we can, bring you, bring you guys all the action. We're checking with some of our old friends. Check out some new builds and uh, take you guys to the racing action here right now. So Miles has a seven second Integra during the day. But in the mornings, he is the chef here. He's the chef. What are you making today? What are we making? A uh, medley of a bunch of leftover stuff that we have. Uh, I ran out of bacon. So now we have uh, uh, sausage, uh, tomato, sauteed, a uh, bunch of stuff. And this is going to be uh, breakfast burritos that you get to try. Oh, hell yeah. I'll stick around for that. I would go back and grab one. Yeah. What's up, friend? Hey, Jamie. How you doing, man? Good, good. What's the game plan today? Don't suck. Don't, okay. That's a good a good start. Don't good suck. start. We've been on the struggle bus a little bit. Right? Do you, do you have a qualifier at all? We have a 9 0, so we're like 24th right now. Okay, so you need to get something to seal the deal there. We 30 last year, and we were like number nine qualifier. Gosh. So, like, just trying to get back there. So, it should do it this one. We've, I think we found all the issues. Do you have an A to B, or is this going to be a quick pass? This is an A to B that should be an A. Third. Okay. So we'll see. As long as it all works. That's the problem. We've just bought stupid little stuff. Like we only put this setup on for World Cup every year. Because usually we run the bigger turbo. Gotcha. And there was just little problems with it. So hopefully got it all sorted out. Third time's a charm, right? Yeah, I, I, you better hope so, buddy. I hope so. And yep. I don't know if we're getting another one. I think this might be our last one. I think you guys will get four, but I don't know if you're getting five. I don't five. know if we'll get four, because we're after Super Street tonight. <laughs> so, Half those guys are going to break in the middle of qualifying, so yeah, that's fair. We might only get, we're making this one count, so what we're trying to do. Good. Because we're planning on this being our only one. Gotcha. Just in case. Well, let's bring 24 down to like 12, all yeah. right? Yeah. All right, buddy. Thanks, man. Good luck Thank to you, you, boys. Let me see the back. That's our Mr. Chrome hoodie. Okay, okay. All right, guys, go go shopping right now. You can get entries to win our Mr. Chrome Cobra giveaway. Uh, it's got 24,000 original miles, about 500 horsepower, 2.3 liter Whipple, all that good stuff. You can get that hoodie. You can get a T-shirt. You can get a hat. You can get leggings. You can get literally everything. You can get our Street Shine products. Anything you want. Go to 1320.com. Get your entries to win that car. Stupid clean car. Well, that was fantastic. So you guys, you guys missed yesterday because you couldn't get a start because it's just too cold. Yeah, well, you're so, gonna make it today. Yeah, better off, better start. But so I don't know if you've ever seen what these cars do. If you excessively crank it, it'll throw up like a warning and then it won't let you start it. So we had to keep taking the battery terminals off and then like touching them. And then it would freak out and then for an hour it wouldn't let us even attempt. And then we flooded the plugs because we were using non-flammable brake for that. All right, what's the game plan today in Wild Street? I'm in Mean Street. Oh, sorry, I'm not fast. Mean Street. <laughs> mean Street. What is the goal today? Uh, to get on the board. Just A to B, just make it Yeah, fast. I'll probably, since there won't be a ton of heat in the track, I'll probably, like, walk it out a little bit. Okay. Okay. It won't be eventful. I mean, if I could get a PB this weekend, that'd be amazing, but I'm not going to set out for it right now. What is your PB right now? Uh, 848 at 166. Okay. 
so I have the mile an hour for a little bit lower eight. I just really want to be able to say I have a low eight to car and not a mid eight to car. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the plan. <laughs> it's just that little bit. Just that little bit. <laughs> All right, well, the car started. We'll see you in the lanes. I'll right? see you in the lanes. Right. Thank you. Give us the rundown. This is our import expert right here. Give us the rundown. Why were they freaking out with over the 811? What happened right there? Okay, that car is driven by Elier. Uh, it's a single jingle. D16, Y8, single cam motor. Single cam. The fastest pass ever world record was an 80. Now he went 811 on a 64 millimeter turbo. When he went 80, it was on a 72 millimeter turbo. So way smaller turbo. Way smaller turbo. 811, single cam. Yep. So that's why they Same track, out. same lane, same time of day. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, thank you. We'll come back to you later for more more import knowledge. <laughs> if yes, something Freddy. else happens, you're like, you I need to you, know Freddy. this. I Let me know and I I'll let you. Like yesterday with the... Oh, I don't know if you know that Supra that went 750s. Okay. And stick shift. That's a real synchronized stick shift car. A real Supra transmission. No T a regular T56. No T56. Uh, oh. A V a V161. Okay. But it comes from a Supra. Real synchros, you know, none of that grandness and all that real dumping Faith, the clutch. Not, nothing face Bro, he's, pu he's pumping a clutch going 750s. <laughs> Pumping a clutch going seven. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We'll see what stick don't be back up for stick shift. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. <laughs>
Okay, so yesterday I asked him what the car was going to do. He said probably like a 6-1 at like 241, 242. He nailed the mile an hour. No. Off. He went 241. No, when I got to 241, I lifted to make him look good. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Whatever. All right. I was like, I got to lift now. <laughs> all right. What's the car doing today? First of all, what's your best What's your best qualifier so far? I don't even remember. Last night. Last the, night, the 621. Okay. 621 at uh, 241. Two, yeah. yeah. And there's a lot of cars in your class in the fives right now. Deep in the fives. Deep in the fives. Where are you guys qualified at right now? 415. We're one from the bump. Yeah. Fifth, oh, jeez. Yeah, we were doing good, and they all went faster. I was about to so say. The same. Yeah. You got, are you guys sweating a little bit? Or? A little bit? A little bit. What's the game plan today? Just anything with a five or a low six? or? Well, so like the orange car, right? If we say six, we're not going to get it. Right. So if we say five, we're not going to get it. So okay. we're going to go 601 right now. 601? And we're not 601. Okay. And we're not going to go 250. We're going to go uh, 245, 246. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. By the way, other than the spare, does this thing have a name? Or is it just, just the spare? Spare. Okay. Yeah. That's a really weird name for a car that's like, it's a legit chassis built race car. This is the only Viper I, I know of that is built like this, to be honest yeah, with but you. it's my spare one. Ned, you're the only one that would have a spare car like this. All right, boys, good luck to you. All right, guys, now that we are done with Super Street, we got all the Civics out of the way, basically. Uh, we are heading into Outlaw vs. Extreme, which is the fast guys. These are the five, six second guys. So this should be pretty exciting. Uh, Ned, like we just talked to, he is 15th. He's just on the bump spot, just right there. If he does not get faster, he will not make it to the show tomorrow. That's everybody's goal today, to make it into the show. That's basically exactly what they just told me they were going to do. Uh, 245, 246. They had that car dialed, they just need to dial in like a 570. Something like that would be good.
So they just announced that the current DA or density altitude at the track. Five fifty one, two fifty eight. What the hell is going on? It still went five fifty five. All right. Anyway, back to the DA. So they just announced the DA currently the density altitude is seventy two feet, which at any other track in the country would be amazing. That's actually the worst DA they've had all weekend. Okay, that's how insane it is here. It, you talk to any racer that's ever talked about DA, you don't know what the, don't know what it is. Talk to them about it and tell them that the current DA is 72 feet in Maryland, and that's the worst they've seen all weekend. They will poop their pants. That is freaking amazing air. Earlier this morning, right before we got going, it was negative 1300 DA. That's crazy stuff. This is this is the recipe to make cars go fast right here. Really good track prep by the Miller Brothers, and then great DA, great temperatures, all this. guys up next I'm here at the big end we got mullet and mullet's a fast car really fast car actually but the class that he's in he's somehow outgunned there's some stupid fast cars in the class that he's in I'm not sure where he's qualified right now I know he wants to get a quick qualifier he did that 635 the first day but I'm sure he'd like to go a little faster uh, let's see what he can do right here Cleet is the 702 at 159. Not what he wanted. That car runs sixes, and I'm sure, I don't know, maybe he was just trying something different. We'll see. I'm gonna go chit chat with him. Hey, brother. Spun the tires again. Did you? Yeah, a little bit. Got back in it, but. Did the boys already tell you what you ran in the headset? In the what? In, in your headset? No. 702? Yeah, I mean, I let out of the eight, yeah. so. It's all right. Our 635 is hanging us in the. Well, I was about to say, where are you at right now for qualifying with that 635? Even with the 635, I think we're uh, like 10th. 10th? Yeah. What's the fastest car in the class right now? 582. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. We're okay. a little off. And so. the fastest this thing's been is a what? 635. So. That was the best. That was your best. Yeah, class. yeah. We're definitely in the wrong class. <laughs> so I guess when you win last year, you get pushed into the crazy class you prove so yourself that you're fast as right? punishment yeah <laughs> we've been pushed into this crazy class but hey we're just doing our best yeah you're qualified so you're good to go yeah you know i'll take it That is the fastest all-wheel drive Audi, period. Doesn't matter platform, doesn't matter engine, nothing. Fastest all-wheel drive Audi, period. I'm gonna go check, 
triple check and make sure that's true. That's freaking awesome. They are from Austria. They shipped the car over a few months ago. Is this the world's fastest all-wheel drive Audi? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> No. No, yes. How cool is it to say that? Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What was the previous record? It was 698? 695. D but the previous record was a? Previous record was 698. 698? He did it this summer. Did a 7-0. Then the guy over in Europe did 690 something. And he bit it just right now. Gotcha. Gotcha. You guys are from Austria? Yes. yes. Yeah. Welcome. That's fucking awesome. How do you guys like the event so far? Really good. Very they cool. were preparing awesome. for this event whole year, man. See, he, he was saying since 2019. Really? Well, he was coming and going as a visiting, and uh, he was preparing for that long. And finally, this year, he got the car in, got it prepared. Congratulations, man. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. From what I understand, it's a 24 valve VR6, is that right? Yeah. How much power does it make? Uh, 1,800. 1,800 horsepower? Holy shit. And it's a Liberty 5 speed? Yeah, right there. All wheel drive. All wheel drive. Yeah. That's, this is an awesome car, man. Congratulations. What are you hoping to do, ET? You try, you're trying to get it lower, or what are you yeah. trying to do? I'm trying to go to a 6.8. 6 6.8? Yeah. Hell yeah. Good luck. Thank we'll you. see you next round. Good luck. Yeah, Congrats, you. guys. That's Thank awesome. World's fastest all wheel drive Audi. Yep. World's fastest all wheel drive Audi, right there. That's freaking awesome. 1800 horsepower out of a VR6. That's insane. That's wild. They said he's been coming over since 2019 to this event as a spectator, and finally he's like, screw it, we're sending the car over. He shipped the car over a few months ago, and he came to the event, and he had the record, all-wheel drive Audi record, period, 7.0 something is what they said, and then another guy took it at 6.98, and they just took it back at 6.95. That is wild, and it's a five. It's not. A, it's not an automatic or anything. It's a Liberty five speed in there. He's do 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 do. Freaking awesome. Viper without the front end on it because it's like eye candy. I've seen pictures, not seen it in person. Looks good, Ned. Hey, Looks good. Yes, sir. How you doing? Good, good. All right. So this is what your SMX looks like. This is what she looks like in the wild. Okay, we went over, it's a 572, right? Yes. 572 SMX with twin 103s. I don't know if we got a power number out of you on camera. What uh, what kind of power does it make? So uh, on that last pass, we made uh, 62 pounds of boost. Okay. We're probably at 44, 4,500 horsepower. Oh my goodness. Yes. On the Fuel Tech Dyno at 40 to 45 pounds of boost, we were right at 3,500. Gotcha. Um, and so, yeah, as you know, it kind of comes up and yeah, it's, <laughs> it's doing quite really a bit well. more boost. Yeah, yep. yeah. How'd that last pass go for you? Really nice. Uh, so the front part of the track is we're going to win this race, right? The back we went 247, so I think we're one of the top five or six mile per hours of, of the LR class. Uh, but the front of the track we're one of the slower cars, so we need to pick it up. Gotcha. Sure. And we're going to go check. Um, we might be getting close to the bubble again. We moved from. I'm about to say you went to a 609, didn't you? We did, but then the guy behind me went to 601, and then I don't know what else happened after us because we ran first in the class. So you were 15th. You had to go faster to make sure you did get bumped. You might still be at 15. Uh, no, so the guy at the end of the dawn, the interviewer said we moved up to 12 or 13. Okay. But then right after that, somebody moved us down one more, so we might be 14. <laughs> But if we're in it, we're in it. That's all that matters, you know? So why a, a low six-second car is like, I don't know, man. You might make it or I not. It. That's well, a wild class. We've shaved two tenths okay. each time out. Yep. You know, so if we can go two more tenths, which is the 609, down to a 589, 599, like, I'd be happy. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we just did a fresh oil change, fresh plugs, new fuel, a little bit of shining because it has to look good. And uh, we're waiting for the call to lanes. We're good to all go. All right. We'll see a fourth qualifier. You, good Appreciate luck to you. It.
six right here. His best pass is that 705 I believe he did two days ago. So let's see what he can do here. Hopefully six something. Buddy, I know you want that six, oh, but your so car just wants to do seven O's all day. Yeah, we've got a 704. We picked up a mile an hour trap speed. One two one sixty foot. So we're getting incrementals there. It's just uh, putting it all together. You know how it is. That seven O barrier, man. It's, it's there. So I heard about your your launch dilemma. You launched this thing just way too many times, apparently. Well, yeah, it's safe to say AMS has been doing a lot of testing with this, obviously. So we yeah, didn't put it on AMS, not yourself. Well, no, it's not blaming anyone. We didn't realize in the TCM that there's like a lifetime. It's the you know, factory what you bought from the dealership transmission controller. There's like the fun police coming at 250 launches and don't allow you to launch anymore. We had no idea so we go up to the line uh -huh. and it's like what the hell it won't go into launch control and finally we get back here we find this table in back you know, back and it's like oh we can only launch it 250 <laughs> times and we ended up uh, getting hooked up with a couple of friends out of germany uh, paul material more and then uh stefan clausen and uh they are big brains on oem bosch electronics and now we have a thousand launches we can do so okay so you got 750 that. more yeah yeah and uh we're gonna use them i think <laughs> All right, next pass, if you get another qualifier today, yeah. what are we hoping to do? Just a We're hoping to go 6-9 something, you know, just whatever we can do. I mean, we've made some incremental progress, so our, our previous record was 705 even. Yep. We're at 704.2, so it's just putting it all together. You know, just any little thing that's not perfect at this level is going gonna, is gonna to rob it from you. Well, I, I, I would say congrats on another record, but I know you guys want that 6, so I'll, I'll yeah, hold that Yeah, and it's cool and all. We'll take it, but, you know, we're gunning for a 6 at this point. Gotcha. Thanks, well, man. We'll see you next Have a good day. day. Congrats. I'm up here at the big end, and we're about to bring you guys qualifier, I believe it's four, of stick shift. It's my favorite class at this event. There's so many badass stick shift cars. Pretty much the fastest stick shift, stick, pretty much the fastest stick shift cars on the planet, quite literally, are here. Uh, Grubworm with the 661, fastest age pattern stick shift car, period. And first pair up, we got Cletus and Leroy. So let's see what he can do. <laughs> Seven two zero two for Cletus, not bad. If I remember right, that S10 had the LS stick shift record at a 674 and he just did a 672. I'm gonna double check, but I think he just reset the LS stick shift record, which is wild to me. Where'd it go? You don't know? No. 72. 672? Really? Yes. Nice. All right. You just reset your own record. Oh, yeah. There's nothing for you anymore, is it? I'm trying to go at six. 660. 660? Like, yeah. But I turned that one down. Well, hang on. So, uh, what'd it go a mile an hour? Fuck, I'd have to check. 2 something. A high 2 0? I don't Low remember. Low 2 I, 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 could, I could check the clip as soon as we get done. All right. But uh, the record right now is 661 yeah. with Grebworm? Yeah. So that's what you're going for? Yep. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hell yeah. If I would have known that it was that good, I wouldn't have put the weight in the back and I wouldn't have touched the suspension. Come on, baby. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, oh my. Good job. Holy Fuck, shit. Man. 
The parachute's not blossom, or what's going on? I didn't. Did it tangle up? I didn't see it. <laughs> That's scary. He didn't go to the sand, though. That's good. Yeah. Thank God. Yep. Yep. All right. Anyway, congrats on the pass. Appreciate it. Resetting the LS record. Yep. Uh, I'm. I'm surprised. You're surprised? Oh yeah. Oh, it's, I mean, what it? I, I really can't wait to see what it's 60 foot. It didn't feel crazy. Okay. Did it look crazy? I mean, it just looked fast. All right. Yeah. The last one was crazy. It went to 102 60. So like, that one I'm hoping was a match. That'd oh. be really nice. What was Boost Cut set at? 60. We found it in third gear. Shut up. Anyway, congrats to him. He just reset the LS stick shift record with an S10. And that C6, it hit, I don't know if his parachutes didn't blossom or what. He got it stopped before the before the sand trap, thank God. Nothing bad happened, so we're good there. since he is the fastest stick car on the planet with a 661, but not bad. Side 570s, 575s, 572, 
in World Cup Finals history. I don't know if that's mile per hour or ET, but 554, 263, that's fucking moving. It or no? We did not. No. We got pushed down. There was like 14 or 15 cars in the fives, and we just got walked down. We knocked the tires off in that last pass, trying to get our five-second tune-up. So, but we are now the alternate, which we're waiting around to see. Does somebody not make it? Does somebody break? So oh, we're, we're, you are the first alternate. We're 17, I think. So I'm gonna go to the tower when they post it. Um, well, that sucks, but fingers crossed. I mean, I don't want anybody to break, but yeah. It'd be nice for you to make it to something. It would be really cool. That's right. And we won a five. We won a 250. We didn't get it, but we had a blast trying. Well, worst case, thank you so much for bringing the car out. It was really cool to see it in person. Yeah, thanks for We're going to see it a lot more this coming year. You absolutely are. Thanks, Red. Yep. Thanks, 1320. This Supra behind me is unfortunately one of the three Supras that hit the right wall yesterday. But he's back. Duct tape on it, but he's back. He's going to try to make another qualifier.
it going, buddy? Where's it run, dude? You don't know yet? No. What was your personal best before? 739. Oh, okay. It was only a 27. Oh, perfect. <laughs> but this is the thing. I was 739 on the bump at 16 with fast people still behind me that haven't gone in. Well, you just lowered it a tenth and so, it, uh, a little more But I think a 27 is what number 15 was. So I, depending on what the third number was, I still might be 16. Oh. But I'll take that, I'll take that 727. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's a PB for the car, PB for the Coyote. It was on fire the last pass. Really? Right oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, the, so uh, cool. a big step forward, no fire. It, you could see the smoke still burning off some residual oil. <laughs> we had, uh, came through the traps on the last pass and the uh, oil fill cap came off the valve cover and it blew oil out of the motor all over the header and turbo and then caught on fire. That's a fire. Yeah, yeah that's a so, fire. It was uh, interesting. Luckily, nothing got damaged. And then after I cleaned everything up and changed the oil, I fired it up and it sounded good. So I was like, oh, well, let's turn it up and go up there and make another rip. Hell yeah. So uh, 727, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Not we'll bad. Take it. All right. Wish it was like a 707. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like a 627. That, that, <laughs> let's not get greedy here, all right? No, we, uh, we're definitely restricting the potential of this motor and this combo with these turbos we have for this class yeah they're little baby turbos aren't yeah they? they're they're uh 62 64s gotcha so but our plan is the second we get home put the big dogs on it gotcha try gotcha. to go over real fast but so. 727 that should keep you right now in the show yeah okay yeah, still in right now but we still have like Haley james and stuff that's not in yet yeah she, she's so, pretty damn good yeah she's so. a 17 capable car so we'll see what happens well congrats for right now thanks buddy. hopefully we see you tomorrow hopefully i'm in it all right man comes what's likely the final qualifier for stick shift. Like I said before, this is one of my favorite classes, and there's a lot of badass cars in this class, and a lot of cars capable of breaking the H pattern stick shift record, which again is a 661, and that is by Tech Performance with Grubworm. They are in this class, they are on the property. So let's see what these guys can do. I'm up here at the big end in case one of them does something crazy. It should be a pretty exciting class, and this is, like I said, probably the last opportunity they're going to get to qualify. I don't think they're going to get a fifth qualifier, so this is their last chance to get into the show tomorrow. All right, Granish is at a 690 at 210. I have no idea if he knows how fast he just went, but he's pretty pumped. Woo! You know what you did? No, I don't. You want to know? Yes. 690. Okay. Right. 210. Okay. All right. I thought it was better than that. That's all right. You seen pump when you rolled up? It, it felt really fast. So. It felt faster than that, but that's good. That's good. Cool. Do you know where you're qualified at, or where you uh, were before this, at least? I don't know where I'm going to be at now. I was I was 715, so I think I was like number eight or something. Oh shit! You just jumped a lot. So I should be up to like number two or three now. Hell yeah. Yeah. Nice. Very nice.
How's it going? <laughs> going good. I was rolling past, I look over and I see you have a smorgasbord of car parts and half of an engine. What's going on? Uh, we uh, we broke a rod on, uh, what is it, the third qualifier this morning. And uh, so now we're putting it back together. Where are you qualified at? Right now we're sitting number three. Okay, definitely a good reason to put it back together. Yeah. We'll see. Have you guys literally been working on it since you guys did your third qualifier? Yeah. Yeah. See? The rod's over. Where is it at? Oh my god. Did it hurt anything else? Uh, crank over there. It's got a Honda K24 engine in it. Billet Honda K24. Yeah, Billet K24. Uh, GM Power Glide by Bill Hencher. And uh, a 9 inch rear end. Well, boys, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> All right. This is epic, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. See you guys tomorrow. All right. See. Yep. Yep. Thank you. So basically, they, they rebuilt the entire engine today after the third qualifier, and they're qualified. I think you said two or three. So definitely a good reason to put the engine back together. Uh, that's wild. That thing they tore the thing up, and they're just getting it right back in shape to make passes tomorrow in eliminations. That's awesome.
787 for miles. Not bad. Isn't that not bad? Good pass, right? Yeah. He has no idea what just happened. <laughs> All right, Super Street is done. Now the only class we have left for the whole night is Mean Street, which is the next next offender of breakages and blowing up and all that stuff. But hopefully, they're just like Super Street, and they only take 30 minutes to make a class. Hopefully, they're just like Super Street, and nobody breaks, nobody blows up, and they only take 30 minutes to do this, and we're get out of here. And then we come back tomorrow for the big show. truck so we're just doing an exhibition run so what is so this is your new giveaway you know the deal five bucks you spent oh, you you not, you're not... Not... no dude put it in the video <laughs> i need everything i can get so do we I spent a lot by the way we are also giving away a car mr nah, carl dude. cobra so this is his giveaway car our giveaway car is prettier so i'm just I saying it kind of is yours is probably better paint wise mine might be faster though hey, good luck in mean street buddy thank you All right, so if you didn't know, Garrett's giving away that track hawk, and he wants to do a pass. For some reason, they're going to let him. He's going to be the last pass of the night here uh, as soon as this last pair goes for Main Street. What is 
it gonna do? Oh, we just gotta, you know, get a base base uh, line here, see what it does stock. <laughs> Cletus's giveaway vehicle, but we have a giveaway vehicle as well. It is a Mr. Chrome Cobra and it makes 500 horsepower, 24,000 miles, really, really clean car. Go to 1320video.com slash shop. Anything you buy gets you entries in to win the giveaway. Plus you get $15,000 in cash on top of the keys to the car. So go ahead and hit the link in the description below and go shopping, get your entries, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.